My name is Shannon Kyles, and I'm doing a series of videos called In Praise of Older Windows. These videos are trying to dispel the myth that older windows don't perform as well as new windows under energy efficiency. The first video that came out was a Regency cottage that had a 200-year-old restored window on the same wall as a brand new window that was installed in 2012. It had all the bells and whistles. After doing a thermal mass and thermal efficiency reading on it, we found that the older window, in fact, outperformed the new window. In this video, we're going to take a look at an Edwardian gable front, which is about the time, same time period as the house behind me. And we're going to take a look at uh, one old window and two new windows, two vinyl windows that were put in in the 1990s. They had replaced the original windows. The ambient te temperature outside was minus 18 degrees when it was shot, and both the entire footage was done within an hour. Tonight, temperature is down to minus 23 with a wind chill of minus 31. Right now in downtown Toronto, we've got sunshine, it's minus 17, feeling like minus 26 with the wind chill. This is the old window, you can see it's the float glass, it's bubbly. We get 12, 11, we haven't got to single digits yet, have we? No. Yeah, we're going to get an 8. 8 right at the bottom. But it's, it's a lot better than minus 2. 8, 16, 8... So we got eight seven. Okay, so that is a one hundred and ten degree year old window, one hundred and ten year old window that has just a simple aluminum massage on the outside, and the upper window, the clear story fan light window, is thirteen degrees, fourteen degrees. Let's go down to where it's really cold, nine. Then we come over to the window, the window frame, which is the old frame, 16, which is 2 degrees, 2 degrees warmer than the uh, wall. And then we're down to 7, 9, 0 degrees, 2, 1 degree. We have 1 degree, 0. We got 0. <laughs> That's right good. There. No, it's, it's where the uh, one pane reaches the other pane. Mm. To 0. Do you see it? Minus 1.3. Minus 3. So there's a lot of draft coming there, Lisa. Okay, so the average temperature on the window is 12, 13, but look at all, this is the, like the radiant heat going around, chuchkas on the bottom, but it's like it's single digits all the way around. And then you've got where the two sashes meet, 0, 2, 0, 1, minus 1. And that's a vinyl window? That's a new vinyl window. Yep, it's conducting right through minus seven. Holy, good work. Does it matter how close you get it to it? Nope. You can read this from across the room. Minus seven. Like it. Minus two. Minus eight. That's a winner. Okay. Seven. Okay, so the temperature of the... The temperature of the glass is the same, mm -hmm. so it's 12, 13 the glass on the frame. Yeah, look at the frame. That's wood-lined metal. Oh. And there's cold at the, bo the bottom corner. Minus 6 degrees. Minus 7. I like it. Minus 6. I think that, no, minus 9. Minus 9. That's the winner. It's the winner, minus nine. And that's all um, metal uh, flashing on the outside. Like the, oh, yeah. And is this a brand new window or a brand oh, new yeah. door? Yeah, three years old. So we've just seen that an Edwardian house, 100 years old, has one window that has been restored and maintained. And the 1990s vinyl windows are in terrible shape and need to be replaced. The newer windows will have to be replaced in about another five years. The original window will probably never need to be replaced. It's good for another 100 years. If they had maintained the original windows, they wouldn't have to spend the amazing amount of money that it is to replace all the windows, and they would have also maintained the original look and character of the house.